Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Pereira and today I'm going to show you how to import a CSV file. So don't leave and learn Mendix with me. So to start we need to download two modules that are dependencies of the CSV module. One is community commons, you can go to the marketplace and search for it. Click in download and install as a new module. Click in import. The second is OKL. So just search for it on the marketplace. Select the first one and click to download. Select add as a new module and click in import and then continue. You can check that some errors appear on the console. You can just select and change um, the layout associated to it. So you can select Atlas default and do the same for all the pages. Some of them are pop-ups other full pages. So you can just check on the layout type. So in this case, it's a pop-up. You can go to the layout type and change it to model pop-up. Soon you fix all the errors, you can go back to the marketplace and search for CSV. Click on the first one. And then click in download. And add as a new module. So currently in this application, I already have one entity inside the domain module. So it's a request entity. Um, currently have three attributes. One, its name. Second, its status, where the enumeration only have two values. It's dropped or submitted. And the third attribute, it's the request ID. And it's an auto number. I also have here some pages, one for the overview, so where I just have a data grid, and the second, it's a new edit page to create some objects. So to start, we need to create some entities inside the domain model. So let's create the first one. Double click and write CSV file. Select a generalization and here select file document. Now you can go to the access rules, select new, give permissions to the user module rule, allow to create new objects and also to delete, and give permission to read and write all the attributes. Click OK again, and let's create a second uh, entity. So you can just copy the request entity and paste it. Double click on that and change the name to request ESV. Go to the access rules and also refresh uh, the user permissions. Just click in OK. Go back to attributes. And because this is a non persistent entity, we cannot have auto number as a type. So go to auto number and change to integer. Click OK and OK again. Now we can go to the overview. Right click on the grid, add a button and select action. Double click on the button and as a caption we can write import ESV. On click event we can select create object. As an entity we can select ESV file and on click page we can create a new one. So click on the page folder. New one, we can keep CSV file new edit as a name and we can select from vertical as a layout. Okay. Click to show page. Give permissions inside the properties, so visible for user. And inside this page, we can delete 
all the fields that are here and replace them by a file manager. Just drag and drop from the toolbox, double click, type just upload and click OK. Now we can click on the save button, edit on click action, change it from save changes to call a microflow. And here we can create a new one called ACT request import ESV and click OK. Click to show the microflow and OK. If permissions to the microflow, select the user. And now we can go to the app explorer, marketplace modules. We can search for the CSV. And inside the use me folder, we have a few Java actions that we can use. We can select the import CSV and we can just drag and drop the microflow. As a file name, we can use the parameter, so the CSV file. As a microflow, we can leave empty for now. Microflow parameter we can leave as empty. Use a system context and use true. Separator, you can use any character that you want. In my, in my case, I'm going to use this one. As a code character, we can also leave as empty because it have a default value. Same for the escape character. Skip lines, we need to um, insert zero and then a return entity. We want to have a request and character set and also leave it empty because the default value is UTF-8. Use return value as true and object name we can set as request. Click OK. Now go to the example folder inside the marketplace module. You can open and then copy everything that is inside this microflow. Go back to the ACT, click on the Java action, click in select and create a new one. In this case, we are going to create an invoke microflow request, upload ESV, and click OK. Click to show the microflow and click OK. You can delete everything that is inside this microflow and just paste what we copy from the other microflow. Here we can give permissions to the microflow, so user, and then go to the toolbox, create a new list. It should be a request entity, and then change the name to request to commit a list. Click OK. Double click on the read next line Java action. And here you can select the non persistent entity, so request ESV. And click uh, to return a value, yes, object name, and be a line. Then we have a line is empty decision. So we go to the false. We can just create a new request object. So drag and drop create object action to the microflow. As an entity, you can select request. And here we are going to fill the the name and the status information coming from the CSV. So line, name, select the name, and the same for the status. Line, and then status. Click OK, and then select the change list, and add a request to commit list, select the type add, and as a value, the object we just created. New request. Click OK. Go to the toolbox, drag and drop a commit object, and then select 
the list to commit. Go back to the ACT microflow and here we can just add uh, a message. So for when the import is completed, so import then and also a close page action. So close page, drag and drop to the microflow. Save everything and then run the project. Clicking view app and I already have one file prepared to import. So this file just have two lines. One is just um, test one and then have a three a value and then the status. The same for the second line. So as a name test two, and then the request ID it's four and the status it's submitted. I'm going to import this file. So import CSV, browse, select the file that you want to import and click in save. If everything went well, you will see an import done message, click OK and all the information from your CSV file. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.